Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Enzo HD here, and this is the first tutorial of this here. So let's hope you make a good one. It's on pen tooling graffiti. Like if a lot of you guys have asked and how to put it onto Cinema 4D. Now, firstly, I'd just like to say uh, Happy New Year. I know I'm a bit late, but I hope you had a great day though, in person and stuff. Um, uh, about this tutorial, um, you know, a lot of you guys asked me after I did this, uh, this speed art as you can see it in the background right now. You know, the green version of deeds one um basically i just want to say firstly is um the original owner of the who made this is known as tag is the owner of abstract free and i thought i'd say that because he's made a tutorial on this and i don't want to make it out like i'm just copying his tutorial i'm putting my own input into this tutorial making it somewhat different but if credit to him he he started this whole drawing graffiti and then put it onto cinema 4d and stuff like that so credit to him and i'll link him in and stuff like that so let's begin with this tutorial right now um i've been extremely busy lately and i've barely got time to do this tutorial. It's been a while since i uploaded so so if i'm not go away i don't care um yeah so here's just a graffiti that um that i've done in like five minutes a long time ago when it's, this tutorial should have been done um yeah and basically i'm just going to be going the pen tool a little bit with this now if you want this, like as like I don't know, if you want to practice on this, just feel free to ask me in the comments below, and I will freely just put it for you guys to download if you want it. Or you know, you could use your own one and follow this. Now, to do this is obviously you need the pen tool, and the pen tool is basically this ink sort of tool. This is an ink pen look. You can see it like there. Um, and basically, we're going to be using this tool to go around and basically outline our whole graffiti. And then afterwards, we're gonna export it from Photoshop onto Cinema 4D. Now, firstly, we're gonna have to go and create a new path, which is over here located here. When you see layers, channels, paths over here, and to make a new one, it's just down here, it's like a piece of paper with its a uh, one corner folded up. You see, it says create new path, and we got our first path. Now, we do this is basically because each each letter we want it once we put it into cinema 4d we we'll want it you know we want uh what's the word we want to be able to re rotate it move it about etc and you know without that if we put it all on one path you can do so if you want to but i like to do it without so i can move each letter individually away from one another if you know what i mean so I with this first part, I'm going to start with the K. It's uh, one of my gamer names. So it's Kairos, and I'm just going to start with this one. So we're going to start up here, and basically go around from here, and here. I'll forget that sort of bend down to the intention. Go around like this is basically just you know following the lines. Put a dot at each point. Now, as you can see, we've reached a sort of curve over here, and I'm going to not go over here i'm gonna like move up maybe one more just before i reach the curve and i'm basically gonna skip this part not click you don't have to literally click all the way around to get your curve go to your next spot where it meets a linear like straight line and i'll press it there and hold down and drag and that will basically get you a curve shape that you want like this see that so your curve shape then you let go and you've done your curve, that's how you do curves with pen tool. Now if you notice, if I just carry on right now, ugh, see that, it's just some curve that just carries on now. Let's just con let's undo that, you hit control Z or Z, whatever you want to call it. And you basically want to go to this center dot and hold down Alt, A ALT, yeah. <laughs> and just basically hold it, down, hold it down and click this button, just like that, and you'll remove the sort of axis thing. And now you can simply, quite simply, just carry on. Just like this. Da, 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 da. Now I'm mostly not going to show the whole pen tool thing. Uh, probably skip through it. There. Oh, we're going to curve it about here. To just, oh, just so you know, guys, I'm not the greatest at pen tooling. I'm learning like you guys. So, you know, my God, or if I'm doing pretty bad at this, or some of you guys. And do it there. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Alt again. Just move there and carry on. Yeah, let's not carry on. 
we can stay. Here we go all again. Up, in, down, up. Wait, actually, I don't want to change that one. Maybe a little bit at least. Here. Like that. Boom. Oh, that looks so good. Actually, I'll just cut it up a lot earlier then. Um, there we go. Okay, so we got our K as you can see. Um, if you don't, you can't see that clearly on this, but you can see a sort of outline shape on the path right now. Now we're gonna make another one and go to um, the next letter. But I'm not gonna do that next one. Neither this one. This one. I'm not gonna waste your time. I just wanna show you another tip. Now a lot of people don't know how to do it when when they see they like basically how to do the holes in the shape. I'm just going to show you how to do the whole, so I'm just going to skip to the O, oh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to pause it right now, so I can just go through the other letters, just to make it easier for me when it comes later. So, I hope you don't mind that. It's a little pause, of oh, six minutes already. Okay guys, um, I've done the other two letters now, I've got them done here, and go on to the O now. Uh, it's quite simple to do, um, uh, it's quite simple, firstly I'm just going to go around it, just like how I showed you curve when the when you need to be in hit alt again. Boom. Not that I really need to say everything, but yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna do this quickly. <laughs> okay, there. Now we go outside and on whilst you're on the same path you wanna do your inner circle. So well whatever shape it is, it doesn't really have to be a circle. Just like this. Like that and you can't see it here. Or maybe you can just the slightest bit, but it would automatically have made the hole for you straight away. So when you go into Sim 4D, no problem about it. The hole will be there. You know, there's no kerfuffle, no special technique, or you don't need to do anything on Sim 4D to have that hole there. It's as simple as that. You just go around there again. You don't actually have to do it on the same path. If you just happen, oh, maybe the hole there is is not in a good position. You want to move it. You can have it on a separate path and do it as well and then when you come into cinema 4d it'll totally be fine it'll work as long as you make them all or export them all as one path it'll be okay now i'm just going to do the last shape uh, you don't have to watch this again i'm just going to pause it quickly okay guys i've basically done all of them now they're all done all five of these paths all have their own letters on them you know we've all done that and now we want to export it okay and it's simple to do Sorry, um, simple to do. You want to go to File, go to not save as or anything, go to Export, and go to Paths as Illustrator, and just click that. And when you go to Paths over here, don't choose Path One. You want to click All Paths, do it all in one go, unless you want to like do a separate letter for some whatever reason, and hit OK. Just like that. And I'm just going to save it to desktop, I'm going to call it Kairos, just like that. And that will come up with the Illustrator file. Now you don't need Illustrator, you don't need Adobe Illustrator, don't worry about that. It's just uh, what you can use for Cinema 4D to put it on. Now let's go to desktop. Now bear in mind I'm going to tell you guys to watch out, this is quite a messy desktop. Ugh, see I told you guys, sorry if any of you guys fainted. <laughs> okay. Um, here is my AI file, my Illustrator file, and I'm just going to simply just drag it onto Cinema 4, 4D. So that a bit of lag. Uh, you guys can do it simple file, open it, and I'm going to drop it down here. Uh, it's going to say this crap, don't worry about it, just hit OK. And ta-da guys, there's your graffiti. Um, it came out quite nice, better than I thought. Um, yeah, so... Take my graffiti, all of it is on Cinema 4D. As you can see, the hole there, the curves, everything is there. It's done. Maybe the S could have been done a little bit better, but it's cool. Where is it? Um, so, yeah, guys, that's all the paths there. And to simply make them 3D, go and hold down this icon, it's a 3D cube, and go to Extrude Nerves, just like that. Uh, you know, you want to get several of them, you can either keep getting them or just hit Control and Paste like this uh, I think that's five and basically you want to make these paths the child of this so you basically drag these 
underneath until we get the pointing down arrow put them on so bang there's one there's two there's three there's four and there's five there we go guys it's as simple as that you know but like i said see you can easily adjust them to the position you want them in obviously you can't see them that clearly right now you know what uh bang but if i just uh, actually you can see quite clearly actually looks quite nice you know um you know if you want to change the thickness of these go to just click the extrude knob go here change it i don't know 60 something like that there you look looking nice already looking brilliant you can you can rotate them whatever you like you know and by the way you guys you don't have to do graffiti you can use your logo whatever you like you can do a drawing and pen tool or anything you like you know the possibilities are endless and uh the tutorial was a tad bit long as you know it's 11 minutes but uh you know i hope you guys enjoyed it i didn't expect it to be this long hope you guys enjoyed it if you made it this far and not go forward thank you and i hope you like comment subscribe if you haven't and thank you so much for watching peace